There is no need in engaging in a long argument or negotiation on whether the Equerries are Igbos or not Igbos. The Equerries have admitted that they are from Guinea, that they are not Igbos and got nothing to do with the Igbos. So the truth is that uh, when Biafra finally come, uh, you people should start uh, warming up because uh, we have no option than to send you back to Guinea. The territory and the land you are occupying is Igbo land. We have evidences and proof because all those land be our names and not Guinea names. All those land got no contact with Guinea and has nothing to do with Guinea. So when Biafra comes, it's a promise that we will repatriate all of you back to Guinea. It's a must. We don't care what the world says. Inam the Kanu is evil. What sort of Biafra will we live in with the type of Inam the Kanu and his ESN? A Biafra that is campaigning to commit genocide against the job people, against the Ogonis, against the Kweli people, against all others. A Biafra that Inam the Kanu has Igbo expansionist uh, agenda. This is a map of Biafra. Biafrans claim that they were fighting for freedom, but let me show you something. Look at their land, though, the one that they proclaimed is their own. So when the civil war broke out, these people move, conquer Edo. Edo is not part of their land, though. Remember, they are fighting for freedom. Though. They now conquer Ondo, conquer Ekiti. Mind you, at that time, eh, the capital of Lagos was, the capital of Nigeria was Lagos. Though. They were now conquering their aim was to go to Lagos and go and dominate. They wanted to take over Nigeria initially. Then they met resistance. The resistance now pursued them back. Imagine people that are fighting for freedom. They now go here. These people that were just sitting down and minding their own business. They now colonize them for one month. They disrupt the economy of these people for one month. Imagine people looking for freedom, collecting another person's freedom. Now these people now push them, push them, push them. They now retreat. And then if you check the map very well, you will see that it is strategically in such a way that all the parts that has the major crude oil is included here. And it was uh, uh, Franco Pico who suggested the name Biafra. The history that we all know, how Biafra came about. So it's an Igbo expansionist agenda that the name Dekanu is portrayed. It's the resources that is found on my land that is open to use to build Biafra. If the world will watch the Jewish being massacred all over Europe, and the world will watch the Europeans today massacred the, the world will watch the, the Jewish today massacring the Palestinians. All these conflicts are because of land. The world will watch we and you people massacre each other, and the he that is stronger than the others will become the winner. So you people should start getting ready because internet never forgives nor forgets. You have admitted and said with your own mouth that you are not Igbos, that you are from Bini. So just get ready. So when we start sending you people back to Bini, uh, it shouldn't be something to be called for what is happening or what is going on. Because from your own mouth, you have confessed uh, that you are not Igbos, that you are Bini. So you cannot come to Igbo land. Our land that is in our territory that got our name and got our identity that has every proof to do with us. Just because we borrowed you. Uh, today it's now your own. No, 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 no. Even the Binis that came from Bini that are living in Onecha today, the Binis that came from Bini that are living in Onecha today are not talking as nonsense as you people are talking. You hardly hear them say we are from Bini. Everybody knows that Ndi Onecha came from Bini. We don't insult them. We don't embarrass them. They are our own. We leave them there. Today, if you tell them to go back to Bini, you're going to have a problem. We will send you back to Bini. Oh. We will send you back to Bini. Just the same way the Lagosians are asking us to leave, we send you back to Bini. You understand? So, it is not a crime. It's not a sin. Sending you back to your father's land is not a crime. We will send you there and we will take over our land. Come on, back home, idiots. Come on, get away. So, is that the sort of Biafra that I will want? If it is that sort of Biafra, I will prefer to be in any other place other than that sort of Biafra. My name is Austin, the wounded civilian. Edo man. I have a message to the Igbos as a people, as a tribe. I have a message for you people. Igbo as a tribe in Nigeria have problem with the Fulanis. The Igbos have problem with many tribes in the north, the northern part of Nigeria. The Igbos, they have problem with the Yorubas. You hear every day some Yorubas coming out saying, leave Lagos, leave their territory. Stop saying our territory is no man's land. In Nigeria, you know, you might deny it. The Igbos have problem with the Benins, the Edos. They don't hide it. These people, they have problem with Ikwere people, Ika people, Ukwani people, or Anyoma people. 
the problem they have the, with them is to drop their identity is to for them to stop saying they are equated they are Kwani, they are they must be evil you hear hate speech the insults they terrorize people on social media everybody pretend it is normal but when the people fight back when other tribe fight back who ibophobia you don't like them maybe their plan is to shut the rest of us up and let these people brainwash our people and let these people tell our story for us and let these people tell us who we are insult us and we will just keep quiet because we don't want to be called you know you hate Igbo, Igbo phobia a uh, few days now you will see the picture of our king the face they will put a picture of, of all kinds of animals all kinds of animals radicaling our king they will, you see them on live shows tiktok you see all of them none have come out among all these people watching them say what is the meaning of this what are we going to gain what is the meaning of this what is all this all about none immediately after election i know people from our state we we gave obi almost four hundred thousand. most of the bloggers in our state they were all fighting for obi labor 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 because this message is also to these people they were all saying they are labor obi 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 while we are doing this including me while we are doing this there is one boy that called Samele but was in Finland insulting the, the Benins as a tribe that they are they don't have time they don't want presidency what they want is that be Afra it is the we the Benins we are we don't like them he make it clear so we don't like them they should not trust us why are they believing in us why why are we even supporting their brother he was insulting us but still we are still supporting his brother immediately after the election we you all saw what they did to us you all see the disrespect the insults what they did to us i came out there i said those people open your eyes open your eyes i was watching a program some being program this evening some of them were saying they used they hate me before all of them most of the people they will say they hate me they hate me before they never liked me before but they always whenever they see me talking they just like hate me until they start listening to me before another guy can say thing he was trying to say he was one of those that hates me before many of those there they were all talking don't ever say that i appreciate you people for for you for you people to understand what i stand for i appreciate you people because the boy couldn't land the beneath they were telling him don't go there that's the wounded civilian don't go there don't even whisper against that man so i appreciate you people but we have to still do more i know the reason why i'm saying this you see i'm not saying this because we want to wage war against the evils no there's no need for that we are all nigerians why the war war is ugly i don't support war but when you keep having problem with people no peace they keep insulting you stay away from them you show them the boundary and say we this is my uh, land this is my part that's your part stay away from me how are you going to stay away from these people stop supporting them politically it will have nothing to do for you if you can do no it doesn't matter what you do to Igbos that they will appreciate you they they can never never appreciate you okay we are one nigeria but what i'm trying to say here separate yourself from them i know what i'm talking about 80 percent of these Igbo people they believe in Biafra. Once they believe in Biafra, there's a way they reason. There's a way they think. Different from us. The few Igbos that have brains, people like Ijele and the rest, few, them blessed, few Igbos, they don't have that power to, to, to curse on these people. They don't. They will come to your platform. I posted a video yesterday. One boy, they call it Bozwe, come and be saying, what is all this for? But meanwhile, he always insults me. They, are, they do their program, put my picture there. They insult me, but he will come and behave. He is, he is innocent. They, so that you will be like the aggressor. Edo people, open your eyes. Not just the Edo, the Yorubas. Other tribe in Nigeria. For how long are we going to keep tolerating this nonsense the Igbos are doing? 
I said it before, not all, but the 20% that think straight, they don't have the power to stop this nonsense that is going on until their hands burn in this fire. In this fire, they will never change. So stop supporting them politically. Any Igbo man contest as you want to be president, whatever, don't come to our state. That's the only way out. We are not talking about war. I'm not, we are not saying now, oh, let the Igbos in our land live. There is a video I want you people to watch. So all this Edo, Edo people were there in Italy here. Yeah. I don't know whether, whether I'm the only one experiencing all, this, all these things. This Edo people, when you go to the apartment to rent a room, the first thing they will ask you, which tribe are you? Which, that, that the first thing, I've gone to almost five or six apartments owned by Edo people. The first thing they will ask you, which tribe are you? When you tell them that you are Igbo, what, what you hear is that they no, no, we don't normally give Igbo people house. Like, are you are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You don't give Igbo people house. Now, now the same one that they complain say oh Igbo people, they do racism. We ask now, we now carry that thing for head. Now, we now carry carry that thing for head. You know they give you. You see your fellow Nigerian in diaspora. He say you know you cannot give the that you prefer giving a Gambian boy house than giving your fellow Nigerian. You see the, what this boy is saying, what this guy is saying. This is the best auction. What, don't give it to them. Anything you know, maybe they ask for this thing. No, we are the adults. You are Igbo. We, you don't need to come to us. We can't come to you. Day your day. That is your own territory. Really, we're not supposed to live like that. We're supposed to live as husband, like brothers and sisters. When, when you have a, a, a help, help those in need, that, that, that are in need. Those they you know in need of something, if you have give to them, that's how we're supposed to live our lives. So that will be everyone will be peaceful. But but we can't keep saying we are brothers. These people they keep attacking you, cyber attack. All of our social media they wish you people dead. They they hate the venom in, as if we are the people that put them in this mystery. So it is time for we to say enough is enough. Stay away from us. There's another video I want you people to watch. This is why I will always discourage marriage between the Igbo people and people that are not Igbo. Let me, I mean, especially, specifically, the Edo tribe and the Yorubas. I mean, I will discourage, if any of my family member wants to marry from these tribes, I will discourage them because it does not work. It does not, I mean, it is a mess. That there are people to stop marrying from our tribe, you know, marrying people like Edo and the rest tribe, especially with the Benis, who caution him. It's very popular, you know, doing their Biafra United Igbo team. Who caution him? Did you see anybody come out and say what you are saying now is wrong? Apart from people like Ijil. Did you see anybody that come out to caution him? They don't like you. They are those. Open your eyes. I know it is almost impossible to say any tribe should leave our state. Because maybe we live in another people's, you know, their state too. But what I'm saying, the only politically... Stop anything that concerns them. Stay away from it. Don't support it. Even though you are doing protest, Igbo man is involved. Say no. Anything politically. Let us sanction them politically. We don't know them. I know what I'm talking about. They will come here and say hate. But how long are we going to deceive ourselves that we are one? We are not one. We are not. We can't be one and you are uh, targeting or blaming us for your inability to solve your political problem. We are not one. Stop saying we are one. It's not by force. We are one, we are one, we are one. You are insulting me, disrespecting me. We are no one. It is Nigeria, this union, or you both that came that make us know you people. We don't know you people. We are not one. You are Igbo, we are a different culture. Oh, different culture. My name is the wounded. Thank you and God bless.